Hi folks, just something that I mentioned on the show last night on the 2nd of July 2017 regarding EMF and the effects of EMF on your body and how to check the EMF around you. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick demo, an example of EMF and the things that could affect you. Now what we have here is a bog standard multimeter. I've set it to AC volts, you have to set it to AC volts and it's set to 200. There's two settings there on my multimeter, AC volts, one is 750 and one is 200. So I put it down to, to the lower setting of 200 AC volts. Okay, and of course you have your positive and negative probes. And what we have here is just a bog standard plug. European plug, well, when I say European, it's more Irish UK plug, and a just a crocodile clip with an earth cable, and this is attached to the earth in the plug. So, what I'm going to do is you need to ground yourself to do this test. So, this is a standard extension lead here, and the, the third pin on any plug in Ireland and the UK is the earth pin, which is exactly what this is wired for. That's the earth pin there and the plug, the big one. So I'm going to push that in there, which will give me an earth. Okay, so that's now earthed. Now, the earth is a big metal rod. All houses will, all houses are designed to have uh, earth. And they, by law, they have to have earth. And it's a big metal pipe that would be put down into the ground and it's wired into the house electricity. So basically, by me touching this means I'm actually touching the ground that's outside in the ground itself. Okay, so that's earthing, and I'm grounding there. So what I need to do is I'm going to test to see what my body um, uh, electricity is. You know, how much I'm being affected by the EMF around me. So what I'll do is I will take the negative lead, and I'll pop that onto that. So that's the, the earth grounding. And then I will hold my hand on the red lead like that. And at the moment, the EMF is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. And that's not bad. That's, that's very good. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen people going higher than that. But I'm going to show you a little example of how dangerous maybe uh, the technology around us can be if we get too close to it. The router that I'm using for my internet is a CASDA router. Now, it could be any router, but I'm using a CASDA router. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up and I'm going to touch the CASDA router and watch what happens to the display of, and the higher it is, the, the, the worse it is for you. So I'm going to just do that now. Now, as you can see, that's gone up to 39. 39. And all I'm doing is I'm just putting my hand on the router. And it's gone up to 39.3. I'm going to take my hand off the router. And then it goes right down. Okay, so there's still symptoms there. Obviously still 0.9 at the moment. Let me take my hand off the probe. And put my hand back on. Okay. So obviously that has had an effect on me. So it's now 0.9. So that EMF has obviously gone into my body by the look of things. It's 0.9 now. Probably take a, a while to clear that. So it's a bit concerning with the energy around us and mobile phone masks and mobile phones and stuff like that. So if you want to do a very quick basic test, if you're normally sitting in an office with a laptop and you want to just check to see what your EMF readings are around you then you can buy a simple multimeter like this well this is quite advanced but you can get cheaper ones out there you just need to check voltage see the the numbers coming down now it's obviously down to five and four It'll probably drop down so that's the uh, effect that EMF can have on your body and if you're being exposed to that on a daily basis it's not good for your body so you really need to check the EMF around you, where you work, in your office, in your laptop, in your house, and just check to see the, the level of EMF in your environment. And if it's high, 
try and reduce it down as much as you can. The best way to test it is start switching things off and then retest, switch off the TV, switch off the laptop and retest if it's high and see what happens and see if that goes down. We'll do more experimenting with this as I find out more about it, but this is just a basic test just to something that you can do at home with a cheapy multimeter that you can buy in the local electrical store. Okay, cheers.